Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today we're gonna be jumping back to the indie games, to the indie world that I really really love. Now of course as you guys know the PlayStation 5 just arrived and because of that I had to play a lot of PlayStation 5 games but I'm always gonna come back to indie games because I'm absolutely in love with these type of games. And not only that, but this channel has actually been growing because of the indie games. So today, in the world of indie adventure games, we're going to be checking out a game called Call the Sea. A game that I've been actually really excited about. And I gotta tell you, I am really, really happy to finally start jumping into this one and uh, see what it's all about. Now, of course, before we do that, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank the developers for sending in a copy of the game to check out and share the channel with you all. And if you all enjoyed this and you want this game for yourselves, I will leave a link down below in the description uh, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Also, I will be playing this one on a PC, on a high-end PC actually, with all the settings at max, because this game is going to be really, really beautiful. And I'm quite excited to check it out. And not only that, but also see what the story is all about. I've always been a big fan of these type of adventure games. And without further ado guys, sit back, relax, and uh, let's enjoy another beautiful indie adventure game together. What is this? Is this some sort of a language we're not gonna be able to understand yet? Those voices. Ooh, prologue. A family heirloom. Oh, hold up. Apparently, I can control the character, and by the looks of it, we're underwater. What the? Am I supposed to go towards the light? I'm guessing that's what you gotta do, right? I mean, if you are gonna wake up underwater, first thing you wanna do is uh, try to swim up, right? Oh wait, I'm not able to do this. What's with this light though? Alright, go towards the light then. I, it's not letting me, it's some sort of a... Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go towards the light. Alright, in that case, um... Let me try to explore this way since uh, the light's gonna show me the path. Maybe try to go inside this cave right here? Oh man, this game. Looks really gorgeous. Where am I? I don't know, I'm asking myself the same thing. I just woke up here in the freaking water. Whoa. This is really, really beautiful so far. I've been here before. Hmm. Look at that, we got a watch, a clock. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. What? These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. You're not climbing, you're just swimming. <laughs> what do you mean you're climbing? Oh god. I don't like this. I really don't like this. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Ah, there we go. We woke up. Those horrible huh. dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. All right, Time there we go. Gather my things. Huh. Man, this looks really beautiful so far. I gotta tell you. I mean, of course, I'm playing on a high-end computer. Everything is at max, so it should look really gorgeous, right? 
Uh, I really wish that I could actually remove that dot in the middle of the screen. Uh, the game would be more immersive. I mean, I get the idea why they left it there. They want us to uh, know what we can point at, but still. Uh, let me grab the gloves because apparently we have some issues with our hands. Look at that. We have oh, some spots on our hands. hands before I leave the cabin. Yeah, look at that. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Uh, let me grab I a mysterious the notes. package at my house. Huh. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Uh, this says play, but I received a mysterious oh, package okay. at my house. What about read? I stored all its contents um, in my locked suitcase. Pet Tahiti, one package, 10/9/1934 delivered. Interesting. All right, what about the diary? Can I grab that? Diary, 1934. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. <laughs> Press Y to open the journal. Oh, look at that! That is awesome. So this is our journal here. Nora, remember this? Hmm. And this is a log, apparently. I finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough road to hoe. I think I must have walked all over Pete asking about them. But nobody seems to know about anything. About a place 74 miles east of Tahiti. Some locals have mentioned an island, but why won't they say anything else about it? It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hudson. He knew of some crew members of the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hudson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. Hmm. November, November 4th, 1934. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Mr. Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet, tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. <laughs> Alright, so um, from what I know about the story here, uh, we are going to be playing a, as a teacher here uh, that has gone to Tahiti in order to uh, search for her, for her husband. And if I'm not mistaken, her husband has actually gone to Tahiti here to find a cure for her disease, as you guys have seen on her uh, hand. Uh, that's all I know about the story so far. I definitely have to learn more about it. Uh, let me check the Merveille calendar here. Du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Hmm. Alright, and by the looks of it, that is about it. Uh, it doesn't like we can look... Oh, we can look I over the window. So much when we move to there's Denver. nothing, though. Alright, uh, is that something I gotta grab? I don't need it to walk anymore. Oh, okay, it's what about exactly that? It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't <laughs> always get what you want. Alright. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. Uh, what about that note here? Oh, look at this. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Everhart Nora. I'm guessing this is my name, right? Everhart Nora. Uh, and I think that's... Actually, mm. there's more stuff here. I think I've overpacked. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. I mean, look at this. She took all her clothing with her. What the heck? What was Who I thinking? Packs like I that. All these dresses on this trip. <laughs> I got no clue. Captain all right, what about Ocean that? Has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Hmm. All right, I think we're done I've here. Let me make my way out. A few more things. Oh wait, what? You still want to pick up a few things? I'm guessing we gotta take this one maybe because it's smaller. Now the question is, what am I supposed to grab? Oh, what about the After book? Spending so much time reading this book. I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. No, what about the radio? Is this working? Why oh, it is, look at that! Oh, I love this song. Oh, that is so cool. Right, I think we're gonna have to grab some stuff My from here. Oh god. Worst memory. Seriously? I've got the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, let me check the journal then. Uh, curious thing for my journal, nor- Oh! I think it's a uh, 506. That's why that number in the picture there is so big. Yeah, let's just try 506. Um... So we got 5. And then we got 6 over here. Is that right?
How do I? Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. All right, now it's open. We got it. Awesome. All right. Uh, ooh, is this like a knife or a set of knives? This looks awesome. This Look at that. Strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. That is so cool. Looks really, really cool. All right, let me grab the picture of her husband, I guess. Harry Look at it. Everhart. Find him. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. All right, some elements have hidden information. Rotate to find it. Oh, let's a check it out. Key with a oh, is that a key? CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. Hmm. Seventy-four miles east of Otaheite. I don't know what that is, but maybe that's gonna be some information that I need. Harry Everhart, my husband. My... All right, so we got that. Uh, let me also grab this one right here. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Hmm. That statue in the middle there in the picture looks like a key, if I'm not mistaken. What about the back of it? Nothing on the back of it. All right, let me grab the picture then, and I think that's about it. I don't think we need the clothing, the clothing here, but I do want to look at the notes. A brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. Huh. Oh, and this is the other information that we just added. Look at that. How do we uh, go left and right? Oh, that's how you do it. Ooh, we added so much information, actually, to this. Uh, let me just read this. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco, and he mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to the delay in the postal service. Last night, I had another of my vivid dreams, but this time, something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before a misshrouded mountain. I woke up drenched in sweat. I keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry. And it's been three months already. Damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing and I can barely walk for a couple minutes without getting exhausted. I wonder if our illness here is gonna affect us in this journey. I'm not quite sure. Uh, an enigmatic sentence written on the photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday. Postmarked Tahiti. No sender. Hmm. Find him, 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite. After leafing through a couple of history and uh, geography books, I found that Otaheite was just an ancient name of Tahiti. The name place the package came from. What does all this mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband, whatever it takes. Even if it means going to the end of the world. Hmm. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco on the Madison Building. I found out that on May 25th, Harry brought six passengers to Tahiti on the SS Caramel. Tahiti again. Hmm. On the side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. First, I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I have to find a ship that will take me to whatever 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy or cheap either. I miss the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. Alright, and this one we've already read. Man, I love uh, going through the lore here and uh, trying to find out what's really happening in this game. The story of the game is going to be really, really good from what I see here. So I think we're we actually good, got... Madam. Oh! The motor boat is ready. Okay, I guess uh, we got everything that we needed, so let me make my way out. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Alright, let me take a quick sip of coffee. Hmm. Look at that. Out of the blue. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. So, Out of the Blue is the name of the uh, company. We'll this one is a Madrid-based company. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. Hmm. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Alright, look at that. 
Chapter 1, 74 miles east of Otahiri. Man, this looks gorgeous. In the middle of the ocean after traveling across... Look at the water! The Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Hmm. Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. This looks Everything really, really beautiful. Familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? Oh, look at that, the key! The this key that we saw in our cool. dreams! There we go, Call of the Sea. That was awesome. So this was the prologue so far. The introduction to the game, I guess. Oh man, I'm really loving the look of the game so far. The voice narration is also really good. I kind of feel I'm starting to uh, really enjoy this game. And, uh... Starting to love this character as well that we're playing with, Nora. Taking idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Yeah, I wonder who built There's these definitely something strange things. About this place. Huh. All right, and we arrived. Perfect. There we go. All right, let's check this out. Can I move? It doesn't look like it can. All right, Nora. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can find something with my backpack. Or somewhere to camp. This thing, I guess. All right. So I'm gonna leave that in the um, boat for now. What about this? Can I actually grab it? Oh, we can't look I at this. I know it's just resonance, but I do <laughs> love listening to the sea in them. This is awesome. All right, uh, I saw something on this side. This looks like a camp, and apparently somebody dragged something on the uh, sand here. Uh, we cannot grab that. Let's see. What do we got here? So somebody was hmm. on this island recently. And by the looks of it, they tried to maybe build a boat. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Va'a. Is that how this is called? A va'a? Interesting name. Alright, so we got that. Uh, we also got a, fl a flute here, by the looks of it. Look at That's that. A, vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their hmm. nose. I won't be playing that. A vivo. They were played it with their nose? What? <laughs> that is strange. Uh, but the looks of it, that is about it, right? Yeah, I don't see anything else that we may need around here. Uh, so, let me check. Let's see. What is this? I'm guessing these are pieces of wood for uh, whoever built this boat here, right? Oh, we got a note. Hold up. Hmm. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Ill and mort. Island and death. Maybe Island of the Dead? Anything on the back? No. Uh, let me try to read it. I, I do know a little bit of French. Not uh, not too good at it, but let's see. Conque lira se mort. Nous avons profond se il peut ni trouver que la mort. N'allez pas plus loin. Uh, actually, my fiance knows French better than me, so I may need to get her to translate this for me. I don't know exactly what this it note is saying. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's a warning. Uh, hold up. What is this? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, maybe this is uh for this machete. Hold up. Where's the machete? Can I grab the machete? This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Looks really cool, though. I mean, at least the handle looks really awesome. Alright, well, I guess that's about it. Uh, I want to find out what uh, with these tracks, though. Apparently, these tracks are going this way. I feel quite good. 
I dare hmm. say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Oh. Okay, so apparently if you want to sprint, we can actually hold on to... Oh, both of the buttons. RT and LT. And LT. Interesting, we can do a little bit of sprinting here. That's not bad. Hmm. Somebody made some necklaces by the looks of it, out of, uh, of shells. Of Quite valuable for the Polynesians. Uh, we do have a statue all the way over there that we, we should check out. Maybe later. Let me make my way through here then. Let's see what this is going to take me to. Oh god. It's getting a little bit darker here though. Inside this cave. Huh. Oh, hold up. What is that? Interesting. So we have three planks. Uh, they're, they're all showing the same symbols by the looks of it. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Hmm. Let's check the journal here. Let's see what it says. Oh, so this is the marking. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let me also read the note here. I arrived on the mysterious island, 74 miles east of the Hiti. The fisherman will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you, dear old pal. I love it how she's calling her husband, dear old, dear, dear old pal. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, was it something down here? I think I, I thought I saw something shimmering down there. I guess it was just a little bit of light coming through. All right, let me keep on checking this side then. I love it that once we're getting out of the cave there, the colors kind of change around us. Uh, but looks of it, if you want to go through here, we are going to have to find a way to open this up. Because looks this... Like opens from the other side. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of stuff back there. If I'm not mistaken, those poles, look at the poles we saw um, in the cave. Alright, let me make my way through here then. Let's see what else we can find out. Wow. Going through the forest looks so good, though. Love it. Uh, first of all, let me check here and see what this is all about. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, there's so many details here that we gotta remember. These figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling Unu. a story. Yeah, I mean, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six of these people. A mountain. I don't know how to read it though. I don't exactly know how to read this. I'm pretty sure we are gonna have to remember this kind of stuff right here. Hmm. All right, let me keep on going and keep uh, looking around and see what else we can find. Man, this looks crazy. Look at this. So beautiful. Uh, let me check this one as well. Try to read a little bit of story. If I can figure it out, I guess. Hmm. I mean, we cannot really interact with them. We can only look at these things. And try to figure out what they're trying to tell tell us. Oh, look at this. This one has... Uh, two of these lines here. So maybe that one is number one. And this one is number two? I don't know. Oh. What is that? A bone fish huh. hook. A bone fish hook. I guess uh, this is what they used uh, back in the days in order to catch fish. More of a uh, set of rudiment rudimentary tools, I guess. What about this? Can I go up here? Hmm, I can, but I cannot really interact with that. An Another of necklace. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. Polynesians. They look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. Yeah, it definitely feels like it, eh? Oh, hold up. We got a flower here. A crown or... Look at that. What a lovely flower offering. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me check on this side then. Let's see what we can find over here. More of these things. Look at that. Oh, and it's just what I thought. Look at this. This is uh, number three, I guess. Maybe another piece of the story. Then we got number four over here. 
Hmm, that's that's showing us a ship, a boat with somebody on it, and maybe a cliff. Hmm. Uh, then we got number five and number six all the way here. What are these symbols showing? It's like these guys over here attack these fellas with spears, kill them maybe. I don't know. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Hmm. Something's missing here. I think I'm gonna have to put something in here, maybe like an offering. Because this does not work. Yeah, look at this. Oh, hold up. This one has something on it. Oh, and this works. Well, that did something. Ah. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to find this disc. Uh, place in here. And then I'm gonna be able to open up this door. Now I wonder where I'm going to be able to find this desk because I haven't seen anything like that before around here. Oh, hold up. Maybe it's going to be here. Oh, wait. What? My name. What? Someone carved my name in the back of this Unu. What? And it's showing me to go here. That is weird. All right. So we got a dagger or a whatever this tool. is. Oh, a carving tool. Never mind. Can I grab it? Nope. This what about this? Box. CW, those are the initials on the brass ah, key. Ah, there we go. So we can now use the key that we... So whoever sent me this No key way. We are definitely on the right track. Look at that. Oh, so the disc is hiding below... Hmm... A pavement stone? Something like that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we can find it. Uh, and I think I can know exactly what it is. <laughs> I love it. All right, let me make my way over here then, because I think this is where we're going to be able to find that uh, that stone. In if I'm not mistaken, the stone is going to be hiding exactly over here. Hold up. Uh, this one. I knew it. Look at that. Well, look what's hidden here. Oh, that is so good. All right, so we got the this that we needed. Hold up. Did I got that? I think I got it, yeah. <laughs> For some reason, it was kind of floating back there. All right, and if I go over here and place the disc on this thing, and now pull this, is it gonna open up? It is, look at that. It awesome. All right, let's keep on going then. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. <laughs> what? Um, please tell me those are not bodies. Okay, that kind of makes me feel like everything is going to start to be really creepy. Uh, hold up, anything here that I can interact with? Oh, look at this, a photo. Is that Harry? Harry, you were here. You there were we go. Here I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Hmm. What about the notes? Hold up, let's check this out. Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Uh, hold up, let me check this. Ship, Lady Shannon. Cargo, six people, fragile instruments, several boxes of equipment, weapon and explosives, supplies for three weeks. Port de Papette, authority du Portuaire, maybe? Uh, let me check the journal here. Let's see where who that lady is. All right, so um, to do, do we've done this. This lever mechanism is missing. It's cover. We got it. Um, that's strange. Polynesians don't use doors, much less mechanism to protect a door. If I want to reach this inner island, I've got to open it. Nora, dear, this is no ordinary island. I needed a key. I received in the mysterious package to enter the island. What does this mean? All right, and this is the information I can uh, find out about this lady here. Harry was on this island, and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely recognize some of them from a letter sent to me. But where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? I guess we're gonna have to find out. Uh, let's see, nothing over here. There is going to be a passageway to the back there, but first... 
Let me just see what that's all about because that's kind of creepy. Bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Hmm. I'm really hoping those are not bodies. <laughs> I'm really hoping those are filled with maybe rocks or stuff like that. Whoa, what is this? Oh man, we're gonna have to figure out a lot of puzzle pieces this here. Me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. <laughs> the Polynesian version. Oh. oh man, seriously? Oh, you know what? I think this is uh, how I'm gonna be able to figure out the puzzle. The thing is, number one may actually be the one at the top. This right here. But I'm gonna have to go uh, back a little bit and try to see what the correct pattern is. Also, I'm gonna need to get myself a uh, note in order to start jutting down some symbols here uh, so I can remember them, I guess. Before I do that, though, let me make my way through this side. And just see where this is gonna take me to. Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Hmm. All right, there's another one of these red symbols. Look at that. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Hmm. Interesting. I'm guessing the reason we're looking through this hole is because we're trying to spot something? I mean, that's showing a mountain, right? Oh, these are the symbols we're uh, remembering, yeah. I'm guessing all these symbols are representing something, so the spiky things on the left side are represented the mountains. Uh, the wavy ones are definitely representing the uh, sea. And I think I'm gonna have to find all of them to know what every, each and one of them is representing. Let's see where this is taking me to. Denser here in this mangrove swamp. Whoa. Oh, man, I feel like something is gonna happen any second now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm over exaggerating here. Maybe this game is not gonna be that scary. What the This one has a lever though. This one is a little bit different. Rays oh, of look at that. shining through. Another symbol. Hmm. Oh, maybe this symbol is actually representing the sun? Yes, it is. Look at that. So we definitely have to learn all of them in order to figure out how to open up that, uh, that puzzle. Interesting. This looks really cool. All right, let me keep on going this way then. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. <laughs> but I have to do it with you, old pal. Alright, what about this one? This one seems to be, uh... Hmm... This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. So what does that represent? Oh, this one represents fish. Interesting. Oh, what is this? Another hook. A bone fish hook. Yeah, there's quite a lot of these around. Um, also, if I'm not mistaken, all of these planks that we keep on finding here, they have different numbers on them. So this one has a four. Interesting. So that's what I'm going to have to note. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to remember these numbers around. Uh, so that's a four. The fish is a four. Uh, the sun here is... Oh, this one is the same one, actually. It's a four again. Yeah, this one is definitely a four as well. Hmm. Alright, let me make my way through here then. See where this one is taking me through. Uh, I'm kind of getting lost a little bit here, but... Hopefully I can find my way. Oh, look at this! We made it all oh the way to these ones. So beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Man, this place is crazy. And look at the amount of these things around here. What the heck? So this one is showing good too. Oh man, we're gonna have to figure out all these puzzles, that's for sure. Look at this. Apparently the birds are sitting on top of this one. 
There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this umu. Hmm. I'll Can I grab them? Symbol in my journal. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir. Interesting. So this one is representing birds by the looks of it. But this one is also showing a different number. Look at this. Hmm. So these are like hands, let's say. And they have different type of uh, fingers showing up. Uh, the thing is, like, can I interact with all of them? I can only interact with a few of them, by the looks of it. So this one, we can I interact with? This one looks like a wave. Uh, this one, like an euro. <laughs> this one, we can I interact with? Again, the that symbol. Hmm. Uh, we do have some more necklaces around here. This one we cannot interact with by the looks of it. Neither to this one. I wonder if I can go in the water. I cannot. Man, but this game is so gorgeous. Love it. Well, I guess we had to come here in order to find out another symbol like that one. Because it doesn't mean we can interact with the rest of them here. Which is kind of strange, but... Anyway, let me also try to open up this path because I know that she said that you can only open this one up through this side. So, maybe we can now go round around. Huh. There we go. We can. Interesting. So, we are back to where we first started this journey. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to have to get myself a notepad here to start jotting down some, uh, some of these symbols and numbers. Just so that we can try to figure out what the puzzle is. But you know what, guys? I think uh, this is going to be the end of this first episode of Call of the Sea. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure to hit on the like button down below. And also, if you all enjoy this game and you want to grab it for yourselves, I will leave a link down below in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. But as usual, guys, thank you all very much for watching this first episode of Call of the Sea. I really hope you enjoyed it. If it did, a like would be very much appreciated, as that's a great way to support the channel. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, do consider doing that, as it's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe if you're not happy with this. Alright, <laughs> everybody, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!